static extension position. So the positioning of your body is really important here. I'm going to walk you through the steps. You're going to start off with your hips directly above your knees and your shoulders directly above your wrists. Now walk your hands forward, one hand length. Spread your fingers wide and shift your body forward so that your shoulder joint stops directly above your wrists. So at this point, your hip joint should be about four to six inches in front of your knee. Now I want you to drop your head, drop your shoulder blades together, and let your stomach relax. Hold this position here for two minutes. Now I'm going to go through a couple of points to remember here. One of the biggest exercises that people make is they come too far. So if you do this, you're gonna feel a lot of tension in your shoulders and your neck. Pull your body back so that your shoulder joint, I'm just gonna bring my wrist back a tiny bit. Your shoulder joint should be in a straight line with your wrist. You are gonna feel muscle work here in your shoulders, but it shouldn't feel too much. It shouldn't feel too overwhelming. Now the second thing that you want to remember is don't bend the elbow joints. Keep the elbows straight and let the pelvis tilt forward so that you have an arch in your low back just like mine is here with your stomach muscles relaxed. So you really are just letting everything sink in towards the floor. And if you feel some muscle tension or some muscle strain here in your lower back, try coming a little bit farther back. Pull your body back and come into that same position. The purpose of this exercise is really to get your body out of the seated position. So we're promoting extension through the pelvis and spine. It's a challenging exercise, so if you can't do the full two minutes, you can start with 30 seconds and then work up to doing the full two minutes. Enjoy, I'll see you next time.